Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Pastor Dan, who just brought the message called, Can You Hear Me Now? What a great message on hearing from God. Thank you. Um, I love that you uh, addressed a lot of the questions that I think most people have uh, about yeah. hearing from God. Does He speak and how does He speak? Um, there were a few questions that came in, Good. so I'm just going to jump right yeah, in. Yeah, sure. Um, so the first person asked, can I expect God to speak to me simply because I'm His child and He loves me? No other qualification needed other than belief in His Son? Well. Uh, I'll hone in on that word qualification. Okay. Yes, in, if we're talking about what qualifies you to hear from God, certainly being a child of God does qualify you. Uh, now, as to whether or not you will, that's another matter entirely. Um, I may be qualified to drive in the Indy 500, but there's no guarantee that I'm going to get behind the wheel. In a similar fashion, uh, it is perfectly possible for a person to go throughout their life not hearing from God, not because God isn't talking, mm -hmm. but because maybe they're not particularly interested in listening. Okay, so when uh, we're talking about this, there was something to clear up here. They said, maybe I misheard, but it sounded like what was being said was that God doesn't waste his time speaking to those who don't care or don't want to listen. Would that apply just to believers? How do you explain how he speaks to maybe someone who doesn't believe? Sure. Well, there is a distinction there. And admittedly, my sermon was primarily aimed at believers, people who should or do indeed want to know what God thinks. But there is a sense in which God does speak to everybody. Uh, there is a concept uh, found in Scripture. It, it doesn't go by this name, but it's there nevertheless. It's commonly called prevenient grace or going before grace. And it's the idea that God is constantly wooing and drawing everyone to Himself. The Holy Spirit is doing a convicting work in every person's heart. Obviously, not everybody responds. So in that sense, yes, God does speak to everybody. Where my sermon, uh, I think, was a bit more um, focused was on once you become a believer and you have a vested interest in knowing what God thinks, these are sort of the uh, um, circumstances under which it will happen optimally. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um, so the last question that came around, we talked about how when you're hearing from God, you gave the great example of the couple who came to see you um, testing against what you're hearing. And so one of the main ways that you do that is uh, a testing it against Scripture. Um, and so if someone is not familiar mm -hmm. or is maybe new to the teachings of the Bible, uh, where do they begin to start and try to process this um, question, situations, and things to see if it lines up with Scripture? Well, I would suggest participating in our summer study that's a great idea. With Brian, he indicated in the pre-service video that he was going to be looking at sort of the, the grand scope of Scripture. Mm -hmm. That would be a great place to start just to get an overview of the whole thing. Um, get in a grow group. Yep. That's what we do. Uh, that's what we do here. Start having daily devotion. I mean, there, there really is no substitute for just reading it. Yeah. You can go to Bible studies. You can be in grow groups till the cows come home. But until you pick it up and begin to read it yourself, um, it, it's not going to magically make, it way, make its way into your head. Yeah, um, just picking a, a Bible reading plan or a study Bible sure. or anything like that and beginning to yeah. start. And then uh, doing it in community is where you can come and say, That's help right. me understand this. That's right. Uh, what is God saying here? Yep. Um, so those are all great suggestions. Um, excellent message. Thank you. And uh, thank you for that and for the resources. You bet. Uh, thank you for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. 
Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.